don't share your information with the narcissist. Don't share your thoughts about anything. Don't share your objectives. Don't share your accomplishments. Don't share your location. You should always avoid sharing any of this information with a narcissist. It can become very harmful or damaging to you. And it's given the narcissist the capacity to gain an accurate and deep understanding of you and what you are trying to do. Then they can try to interrupt what you are trying to do by causing a disturbance or problem. Or they will try to intervene and prevent a process or activity from continuing or being carried out properly. If it has anything to do with your progression or development, they will try to cause some kind of disturbance or problem to sabotage what you are trying to, to accomplish. You have to be very cautious around the narcissist. You have to keep things secret. You cannot reveal certain information about yourself or about what you are trying to accomplish. You might want to share it to get validation from the narcissist, but they are not going to feel any pride for you. They are not going to feel any satisfaction as, as a result of your achievements, qualities or possessions. It's only going to, going to make them more envious and jealous, more full of rage, which they will soon take out on you. Because they see it as though you are trying to have an advantage over them or be better than them. And your achievements, qualities or possessions then make them feel inferior to you. When you're sharing your thoughts and ideas with a narcissist, they might treat it in a way that is apparently kind or helpful at first, but really they are treating you condescendingly. They're seeing it as though they are above your thoughts and ideas, as though they are superior to you. They don't really believe that you're going to accomplish anything. They don't believe in themselves, so they don't believe in you. They act grandiose. They act impressive and impose in, ap in appearance or style. But this is only because they feel deficient or inadequate. That is why they are so arrogant. That is why they have such an exaggerated sense of their own abilities or importance. They have to act as though they are more than what they actually are. They have to create this alternate reality where everything works in their favour. Where however they want to perceive something is superior to anything real, which might then be unfavourable to them. They would rather distort reality and live in a fake world where things appear to be more favourable to them. Even if it's not real. Even if it's just a lie. They would rather live a lie than live in a reality that does not favour them. Creating this alternate reality or fake world provides them with a false sense of control. then everything can play out in the way that they would like rather than how it may play out naturally in the real world. 
They have to do this. They cannot be satisfied without having full control over you and everything that you are doing. They cannot be satisfied without having the power to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. Even if it's something that might be favorable to them, it has to be under their conditions. They are obsessed with control. They have to control everything so that it then produces an outcome that is more favorable for them. They don't care about being fair or treating people equally. So when you share something with them that is favorable to you, something that is helping you to progress or develop, if they cannot have an effect on it, or make a difference to it in some way, they will end the existence of it. They will tear it down because they had no control over its progression or development. And they had no control over the outcome or result. They need to have control over everything. If they feel as though they are left out, they will completely abandon you. They will cease to support or look after you. Or they will treat you with contempt or disrespect. When you share this information with a narcissist, they will either be envious, jealous, or full of rage, or they will be completely detached. They will act completely dispassionate and disinterested. They don't feel comfortable with anything that they don't have control over. It causes them severe mental suffering. They are so terrified of not having control that it makes them feel powerless and helpless. This is why they manipulate you. This is why they try to change your behavior or perception through indirect, deceptive or underhanded tactics. This is why they give you a mistaken impression or deliberately cause you to believe something that is not true or fail to admit to you that something is true. They are always trying to find some secret or underhand plan of action designed to gain an, an advantage over you. They are always trying to gain control over whatever you are wanting to do. When you reveal any secret or private information to them, they may act as though they are paying close attention or as though they are very concerned. But underneath that, they are mocking you. They just see it as a joke. Or they are trying to figure out a way to divert your attention or prevent you from concentrating on whatever you are focused on, which might be favorable to your progression or development. They don't care about anything that does not include them. They don't care about anything that they do not have control of. And when you bring anything like this to their attention, you are just reminding them that they are not as powerful as they think they are. 
which then results in them becoming envious, jealous, and full of rage, and trying to destroy whatever it is that you are trying to develop. This is why you should not reveal this information to the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissistforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.